Hello everyone. I have a Gigabyte 7970 OC graphics card that has been acting up lately. So on this episode of Tinkering with Terrius, we're going to replace the thermal compound to see if that will help it at all. So first thing we got to do is we have to remove the heat sink here. So hopefully you can see this, but the screws have clearly been taken out on this before. It wasn't taken out by me but you can see that the uh, heads are stripped a little bit there. So as far as I can tell the heat sinks just attached with these four spring-loaded screws here. I don't see any other screws that are attached directly to the heat sink. Got it loosened there. Now there will be a little there will be a little connector here holding the wires. So I'm going to hopefully pop that off gently. So there's the GPU. Yeah, this it's uh, that thermal compound is certainly very very dry. It's been on there for a long time. Here's the base of the heat sink here. So you can see the thermal compound in the middle there that contacts with the GPU is also quite dried out. The uh, thermal pads look pretty good. There's a couple little odd pieces of metal in two of them, which looks, I guess, just to be the heat sink underneath showing through for some reason. So we're going to clean up the middle of this guy and we're going to clean off the GPU and we're going to apply some new thermal compound and hopefully give this card a new lease on life. So I cleaned off the heat sink here. You can see the middle there is nice and clean, no thermal compound. I'll probably go over it a little bit more with some more rubbing alcohol just to make sure it's nice and extra clean. So now we'll do the there GPU we have itself. The cleaned off GPU. It's as clean as I can get it. So unfortunately the only thermal compound I have here is Noctua stuff, which isn't bad. It's just not really designed for this purpose, I don't believe. It's what we're going to be using. So it's not going to require very much. I'll put a dab about that big and see how much it spreads out once the heat sink here pops on. So the thing with GPUs versus CPUs is that the CPU usually won't have these little surface mounted chips all around the processor. And if any of this thermal compound shorts out these chips, chances are it's just going to fry the GPU. So we want to try and avoid that if possible. see not quite enough it's definitely a difficult balance because I don't want too much but I don't want not enough either I'd say that's about right. The whole GPU is covered, but it doesn't seem to be oozing. So hopefully that's just enough. 
So now we're just going to put in the screws the same way as we took them out. You want to tighten them diagonally from each other. Here are the results of the thermal compound replacement. Before and after the replacement, I ran the card in for a mark for 10 minutes. Before the change, the GPU was running at 67 to 68 degrees with the fan hovering around 65%. After the change, the GPU is now running at a stable 64 degrees with only 56% fan speed. So that means the temperature dropped by about 3 degrees Celsius while still maintaining the same performance here. So it didn't drop the temperature by a ton, but 3 degrees is still respectable. The biggest thing is it made a huge difference in the amount of noise the card puts out. Now that the fan doesn't have to run as high, it's quite a bit quieter. Now unfortunately this didn't solve the GPU's stability issues, it still has occasional dropouts and problems. So while it didn't fix the problems I was having with the GPU, at the very least it gave me something different to post on my channel here. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you didn't enjoy it or you hated it, then of course feel free to give it a dislike and if you want, send me some feedback. If you'd like to share the video, feel free. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.